Okay, so for this navigation challenge, this is more like path planning. Um, I'm going to do dynamic and static path planning. So I'm going to go ahead and select two rooms, basically this entryway and my kitchen. And what we're going to do is we're going to place static objects in front of the robot and see how well it can maneuver. Also, we'll do dynamic objects. I'm going to actually have a couple robots roam around and see how well the robot can maneuver around it. And you guys can see for yourselves how much coverage the robot can pick up. Also, I'm going to pick up the robot as well and move it to a new location and see how well the robot can figure out where it's at and go back to the same spot it was picked up after. Oh shoot, I think I forgot to empty up the dustbin. Let me uh, go ahead and move the robot to empty up the dustbin. Okay, I got to empty up my uh, robot. I forgot that I had to empty out. This is such old technology. But some of these robot vacuums, you have to empty out the dustbin. Oh, I wish I had a self emptying rope lock. Installed. Okay, so the rope lock will spin in 360 degrees to uh, get its bearings. Once it gets bearings, it will go ahead and resume back to the same spot it left off or got picked up on. One thing I would scratch my head on is why does the robot need to spin 360 degrees if the LiDAR dispenser spins 360 degrees? Just something I've always wondered. Um, I haven't found the answer to it. So if you guys are an engineering guru or an algorithm guru, let me know in the comments why these robots have to spin 360 degrees to get its bearings. Okay, so the robot heads straight to the path it was picked up at or the spy was picked up at. Very efficient path. And we're going to go ahead and continue with the challenge. The Roblox S6 navigation is excellent as it's going to be shown in this navigation video. But here's why you should get the Roblox if you have a really large area, maybe like 5,000 square feet or more. Just because the Roblox has to recharge and resume, but it also is paired with really good navigation. Probably one of the best in the industry. As you can see, I'm going to do some dynamic tests where I basically move the robot over as it's going. And it can pick up where it's left off or it might choose to start cleaning a new area and then go back to the area where it uh, got moved from. Very efficient algorithms. It does this to help save time and to minimize having to go back over the same area. I remember I had one commenter ask, is this a good robot vacuum for like a restaurant? I would say yes, this is an excellent choice. Just because you're dealing with a lot of chair legs and a robot does great with chair legs. Um, also, it does great with the large areas and does well with a lot of dirt and debris, has good extractors, and the side brush is really good. Okay, so the next challenge, I placed a uh, static object in front, but this is a very unique object. It's where the robot can't physically get underneath it, but the LiDAR sensor really can't see the object, so it's basically relying on its bump sensor. You notice that the robot really tries to uh, fit itself underneath and goes over that area near the vacuum several times, but it does a good job. Oh, silly me, I forgot the extractors. Hold on one second. Oh, maybe I do have to extract this. I'm sorry. So this is another test where the robot can memorize the object. So this time it was able to squeeze underneath the object and finish up that small area. Okay, so the robot picked up to the second area or room. And now I have my other robot. This is called the Kika. It's a mobile projector on wheels. What I'm going to do is put the robot in front of the Roblox and kind of block it. I did expect the Shark IQ to run, but that's kind of a bonus. So this is kind of demonstrating movable objects and the Roblox has to kind of figure out where it's going. So in this scenario, the Roblox may think it's trapped, but I will move the robot over the Kika and it will update its map to uh, show that it can escape. So this test is really showing the dynamic path planning. Um, the Roblox can update its map several times a second. So as you can see, as I move the robot over, now it can free itself. So the Roblox can figure out a way to uh, keep going with its edge cleaning. Okay, so what do you guys think? Um, do you like the way that the Roblox starts with the perimeter sweep first and then fills in that edge? I think that's the most efficient. So what it does is this fast spinning side brush will kick the dirt and debris away from your baseboards and then it will fill in that scattered debris by going in a back and forth cleaning pattern. I think this is probably one of the most efficient ways to clean an area. All right, good job, Roblox. You uh, passed all the challenges. Uh, this was a test of its dynamic path planning and also static path planning, uh, obstacles in its way, 
being able to physically move to robot and robot able to uh, pick up where it left off. Very good job. So Roblox is the leader in navigation abilities. So if you like this type of test, please smash the like button. Helps me gauge if this video is popular. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. This is Robot Masters, where I do not only cleaning tests, but I also do navigation. So stay tuned for more robot vacuum challenges and head-to-head, -head, and I'll be getting more robot vacuums on this channel. Alright, I'll see you guys later.